Previously on Republic of Doyle. Okay, for the last time, it wasn't a stag. It's a lame stag. You should have had strippers. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. Sergeant Bennett. What, is it a state secret that you're dating the mayor? Oh, maybe he'll, uh, you know, name a street after you. Hot Cop Road. We split the profit 50-50. Absolutely. The clones are cooking, Tinny. They're doing way better. You're a total natural. The key here is to not get caught. Ah, Tinny, what the hell? My mother's here. She does this like once a decade. You have a mother-in-law? You're really starting to get on my nerves. You did an agee. How long has the moratorium been now? Allison Jenkins, this is Jake Doyle. You know, you really are very, very attractive. Been away a long time, Newfoundland. A long time. I'm happy to be back, though. Thank you. You found some offshore oil, though, didn't you? And people don't know what to do about the money. They don't know what to do with the money. The people don't know what to do with the money. They don't. I saw a guy driving down Water Street in a Porsche, inside a Ferrari, stuffed into a Hummer. Yes. What, this guy gets a stalker and now we gotta babysit him? That's just Thank you. dandy. Soak it in, boys. That there is a legend. The stamp pick. DJ's manager. Thanks for coming in. Be smart about it. Use the money well. Build a bridge or something. You know, get your mountains done. Bang those little French islands that you've had your eye on. I'm Jake Doyle. This is my father. Malachi. Seems you picked up a stock? Yeah, ever since we landed last week. Uh, we're trying to keep going the QTs after this big U.S. pilot. But he, he's all reacting if you ask me. It's when they stop stalking you, that's that's when you worry. One, one sec. A TV pilot, huh? Uh, the show's based on Squid Dude. Okay. Huge hit for JJ back in the day. Ah, Squid Dude. Lock it down. That was the catchphrase, yes. The pilot has one more thing to say. Lock it down! JJ on my stage. Now, uh, don't go away. We're a Whoa. short break, and then we're going to have some of Newfoundland's JJ. finest young comics. Yo, you got to sign this. I love you, man. 20% off white Russians all night. Enjoy. Uh, what's your name, sweetheart? Annette. Uh, JJ, we're that. I love you. <laughs> you sign that? Look. Yeah. Can you. you sign that for me, please? Please. Okay, I got to go. Thank you. JJ. JJ. a disaster. You don't like me from above like that? I look like a troll doll. Still the same, huh, JJ? It's nice to see that you've mellowed. Oh, <laughs> you want me to be nice now? Can't look at how well that worked out in your life. What's with this 20% off the gate crap? You know my deal. My fee plus 80%. Tonight's box went to charity, JJ. I, I don't know why I let you come into my club. Let me? Let me? You begged me. Beg? Oh, God, I don't need this crap. Are you going now? Now this is a show. You're gonna leave all this glass here? You wanna see me cut myself, is that Tell it? You can go clean that up. No problem. I... P.I.s you told me to hire? Hardcastle and McCormick, right? Right. Okay, I need someone to keep the ding-dongs away from me. Anyone certifiable, show them to the door. We're detectives. We don't do security. Aw, oh, sensitive bodyguards. Just what I was looking for. Find the stalker and shut him up, okay? Well, we just... Okay, we need to ask you a couple of questions. You can direct your questions to me. Get that thing out of here. Now that's funny. Godforsaken rock wasn't enough. I hate clowns. Stan, I hate them. I, I know, JJ. Just try to stay calm. Look, I wanted to get my game back in front of morons who don't know better than work my way back to real cities. Hiring private investigators is a tad excessive. No, keep this stalker whatever quiet. Quiet? What do you mean? So we don't spook the network. The execs are coming up this weekend. Right, but having a stalker, isn't that a good thing? Make you seem more important or whatever? <laughs> Okay, now the sensitive bodyguard is giving me showbiz advice. Allow me to reciprocate. Find the stalker. 
Dead men don't laugh. Any idea what this note means? No. But the logic holds up, wouldn't you say? It's fam. Network. Pancakes! Yeah? No, 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 I couldn't be better. Unless I was in a bathtub with you. I'm, uh, Tyler. Mal. No. The bottle washer around here? And cook? Pillow fluffer? J.J. may seem like a jerk, but he's actually cool. Oh, you want to be a comic, Tyler? I am a comedian and a screenwriter. The world just doesn't know it yet. Tyler, food. Stan, bring the car around. Moron. Don't be a moron like Stan. Oh. And 25 new jokes for breakfast, OK? None of that noofy crap. They hate that here. No noofy. OK, got it. OK, let's find the maniac stalker before the network gets here on Saturday. This might be a stupid question, but do um, you know if anyone might have a grudge against you or? Just Google me to find out, hotshot. Find the freak. Look. There's our club owner, Kent. Look at that hair. Cat foot. Nothing says 80s like a Mount Pearl curl, huh? <laughs> hey. How are you? Good. Yeah, me too. Uh, listen, I'll have to... Uh, I'll call you back later. Bye. Uh, I put honey in instead of sugar. It's better for you. You're all smiles? Not so. I'm just saying, you look happy. Frankly, it's none of your business. I'm your partner, not your little sister, not your wife. Got me? I talked to Dylan. He's primed to buy the whole crop. Dylan, the guy who's stiff for the equipment. That's who you want to sell to? He's the only dealer I know. He can't come here. No one can. I already texted him the address. He isn't mad that you kicked him in the nuts. What part of secret underground drug operation didn't you get? He thinks you're cute. You can think about having some fun once in a while. His car's in right-hand drive, and you want to go to London. It's karma. <laughs> you're an idiot. And I'm your best friend. What's that say about you? Enemies of J.J. Murphy? I just met the guy, and I want to kill him. So this is the stuff that they've gotten from the stalker. Is that mold? J.J.'s a bit of a germaphobe. The stalker's trying to freak him out. Plus, they stole some clothes and a hairbrush. Now, if I was a stalker, I'd go for the good stuff, like, you know, like a journal, you know, a cute picture, or that, uh, that pretty anklet that she always wears. I mean, he wears. I mean, yes, yes, what? Maybe the stalker's someone J.J. knows, like, a. Uh... An ex-girlfriend or something. Marlon Brando had a stalker who wanted to kill him and eat him. Oh, my God. Is that a clown in a jar? You guys, OK, check this out. Dead men don't laugh. It's a strange threat, don't you think? You didn't see his act. What'd you dig up about old JJ? Well, uh, never been married. No family to speak of. Left the island about 26 years ago. Moved to New York. Hit it big with Squid Dude on SNL. Lock it down. <laughs> that sketch, that one sketch where Squid Dude, and he's so nervous, he keeps locking the prison down. <laughs> it's, it's his, it's his uh, best, best work, I think. What about JJ's staff? Manager here has been with him for five years, single-handedly got JJ back into the mainstream. And then Tyler is the third intern hired in a year. And this guy, Kent, club owner, he and JJ used to have comedy act together, and JJ dumped him when he hit it big. What about Mrs. with the uh, hair? Rhonda Stride. I cannot find anything on her. It's like she disappeared. All right, father. Start at the beginning, I suppose. Yeah. So Kent's his old improv partner. So what? We should talk to him. Uh, just give me a second. Hey there. Hi. Staking out parking meters? That's good. No job too small, huh? Yeah. <laughs> wow, this is a real coincidence seeing you here. Why is it I uh, always feel so nervous around you? You're nervous around me? Maybe it's um, because you're... Such a powerful, you know, type, person, woman. And do you have a problem with powerful person, women? Well, not, not in general. I mean, I don't have a problem with powerful people at all, unless they're, of course, meatheads. Eloquent. <clears throat> Let's go out. Seriously. That's it? That's your pitch? Yeah. Does that usually work for you? Nope. <laughs> but you keep trying. Practice makes perfect. What? 
Take your ball and go home, son. She's out of your league. You know, it's your constant support that sees me through the troubling times. Do what I can. Zero chance with that lawyer. Zero. Those uh, how to inspire your family tapes, they're really paying off. No hope. Box office doesn't open till noon, fellas. We work for J.J. Murphy. This is Malachi. I'm Jake Doyle. We were here last night when he had his little clown incident. Right. Bodyguards. I remember a time uh, years ago when J.J. almost wet himself at the sound of an ice cream truck. <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> creepy clowns incident. I don't, I don't know who's responsible, but whoever it is, I'm a huge fan. Really? We didn't have anything to do with an old cat fud grudge, would it? Uh, that was another life. JJ makes it big. You run the club. Might make a guy a tad bitter. I own the club. He's playing it. What goes around comes around. After JJ bailed on you, why didn't you and uh, Rhonda here carry on with the troop? Speaking of Rhonda, do you have any idea where we might find her? No. I haven't seen her in years. JJ's big comeback makes the second fall that much sweeter. Creepy kid we saw at the club. So it is. Hey, buddy. You got a sec? I just need to talk. T. You. Hey. Kid. Thought you wanted to meet JJ. I can introduce you if you like. He's a swell guy. Maybe I can get you an autograph. Oh, you lost him, did you? Could have made that happen myself. Ha, ha, ha. Look what he left behind. Vintage JJ material. You must have been pretty scared off to leave it. Hey, 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 Leah. Is that our garbage? You got your job, Stan. I got mine. Get out of here. And you, you were so fired. I can see why they call it the entertainment business. More. More. Too much. Scrape it off. Not with your finger. <clears throat> Leah Jordan is a blogger. Leah's lowdown. Need I say more? What was she looking for? Tyler, jokes. What do you got? Uh, at dinner, everyone at my house used to ask for the turkey leg. Dad would say, what do you think we have here? A spider? <laughs> Pass. One time I was on a plane, about to land. Awful, just awful. You're getting worse. They're just terrible. <clears throat> Go over there somewhere. Hey, Tom Rickles, focus. Why was Leah Jordan going through your trash? Well, how should I know? I'm telling you, she's your stalker. Why wait for a story when you can create it yourself? It's her way of making news. Yeah? What about Kent and Rhonda? Oh, those two comic hacks. I carried them for five years, and they have a beef with me. They were like leeches. They were like... Like leeches doctors were using them to cure infection. Yes. <laughs> it's not bad. <clears throat> That's good. That's... <clears throat> it's getting no... <clears throat> oh, whoa. Oh. He's still breathing. Tyler, call an ambulance. his stomach and I'm waiting for the lab results. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure he was poisoned, so if you find anything, let me know. If I could test the food he was eating, that would be helpful. Yeah. All right, I'll find the food, no problem. Hey, um, if you commit to dinner Saturday night, I will do that for you. Please. David is a really good guy, Jake. Look, Nikki, I can see how dinner with you and your new fiancé slash divorce lawyer who happened to rob me blind in our settlement would be fun for you, but me, not so much. <sighs> Fine. Right. Saturday, 8. And don't use that thing in the hospital. Hello? Jake, what are you doing? Me, I'm slaying monsters. Better forward to speaking, of course. Whatever. Des, find the food that JJ was eating and bring it to the hospital for Nikki, OK? Uh, no, we threw it out, man. JJ hates having food around. It's in the garbage. I don't care. Find it. The other option is you can sort through the remnants of JJ's bowel movements. Hey. 
How would you like to get into the bowels of private investigating? Good morning. JJ, what happened? Did someone really try and poison you? No, but I learned something. If you want to eat endangered species, make sure they're declawed. <laughs> it's all a big joke, isn't it, JJ? You were poisoned by a stalker. You've been threatened before. Leah Jordan, ladies and gentlemen, thinks that writing a blog means she's a journalist. <laughs> Shut up and dance. Last chance to leave. End of the last line. I found these in your garbage. You've been receiving death threats. Okay, that, uh, he's got to get his rest. See ya, folks. You all Lock it down. Give me those. I'm not playing with you, Leah. The next time I have you arrested. JJ's hiding something from us. The question is, why? Timmy! It's Dylan. He's here to see you. You invited him. What's going on, ladies? It's a beautiful day. What's going on here? Expert work. I'm wearing a cup this time. Really? You can't tell. You got any beers? Uh, you know, make a little toast to new, new business? There's a uh, peach cooler in the fridge. Oh, uh, call some people. We'll have a little party. Sounds great. You cool with that, Tintin? Just post the girl up on Facebook, and then every skeet in town can come rip us off. <laughs> You're funny. I like funny girls. And I like smart guys. And call me Tintin again, and you'll need more than a cup to protect you. P.I. Sounds cool. I mean, when you're not digging through garbage. Yeah, it's like, it's like I got this, this brain, right? That's just like naturally inclined towards like logic and investigation. It'd be a sin to waste, man. Uh -huh. Look at this. When will people learn? Our planet, our home. I'm sorry. It's okay. So, uh, so you want to be a comedian? Yeah, and a screenwriter. I've got the Squid Dude script. JJ's gonna read it when he gets a sec. It's all about timing, right? Timing, yeah, man, for sure. You know, and skill. And talent helps, and, and luck. But it's mostly talent. Yo, yo, check it out. Oh, nice work, man. Man. OK, you can have it. Sorry, sorry, man. I just got a little excited. Something just touched my leg. Something just touched me. Something just touched me. Okay, Leah's low down. She's a big fan of his old material, and it looks like her blog has put him back on the network radar. So she loved him once. Then she suddenly hates his guts. Sounds like every relationship I've ever had. Uh -huh. How much you want to bet says JJ was sleeping with her? It's always about the sex. Oh, hell hath no fury. Like a person dumped, exactly. What about Rhonda? I searched high and low. There is no Rhonda Stride anywhere on this island. Maybe she changed her name. Would you mind looking into that for us? Yeah. I'm gonna go to the hotel, see who's coming and going. You, uh, you wanna go to the Hall of Records, dig around some old files? You don't really know how to talk to a girl, get her all hot and bothered. They have periodicals. Oh, let's go. Hey, what are you up to? Uh, uh, I'm reading The Squid Dude and The Boy from Bay Bulls. It's Tyler's script. You know, I'm already on Act 9, and it's, uh, it's pretty wicked, although the parallels within the narrative are somewhat opaque. Could do with a bit more nudity, though. Let's go. Pursuing? I'm not pursuing anyone. I asked her out. What's the big deal? I, I work with her, Jake. Look, all I ask is that you don't make this my problem, seriously. Well, why did you, you know, introduce me to her in the first place. Jake, you don't need to sleep with every woman I introduce you to. Although she is extraordinarily hot. Hold on for a second, I got another call. Yeah. How's the pitch coming? Allison. Hi, hello, th hello there. How, how are you? So? Yes. Yes. I think what you mean is Saturday night, eight o'clock, dinner. Pick me up. Do you, do you mean that you pick me up or I pick you up? You'll figure it out. Oh, what? Wait. Oh, I can't do it. Walter, buddy, I gotta go. I'll call you back. Walter. So, I've settled on prime rib for Saturday. 
Yeah, um, listen. <clears throat> About that, something kind of came up. No dinner, no talks report. Got me? I love prime rib. Perfect. So, Des stopped by with a nasty bit of tuna. It was filled with glycoperonium. Glycopor... what? Medication used in terminal care. It makes it hard to breathe for a healthy person. Really? Mm -hmm. Uh, thank you. I appreciate it. Can I keep this? Mm -hmm. Saturday. No excuses. I know where you live. I've got your new fiancé to thank for that. Okay, Rhonda, girl, where are you? Oh, hi. Hi. Oh. <laughs> where is this coming from all of a sudden? I don't know. Everything just seems right in the world. I'm feeling great. You're looking great. Oh. And the granddaughter we have at home is acting great, don't you think? Well, Danny's really growing into herself, isn't she? I'll have yelled to myself. Now, the question is, what are you going to do with me? Hmm. Mm. <laughs> Get out of this girl. Palliative care drug? Who would do that to JJ? My series is about to be ordered. Just when things are going right for me. Okay, JJ, sit down. I need you to stay calm, all right? Now, Leah Jordan. You want to tell me about her? Any idea why she'd be hanging out with your old comedy partner, Kent? Jake, why don't you dress? We have the thing with the mayor in an hour. He's getting an award from the city. Good for him. JJ, Leah Jordan, is there anything about her in your past I should okay. know? Okay, Jake, just keep that to you, so. I slept with her a couple of times, then I dumped her. It's an old story. You see, this is the kind of information that'll help me do my job. All right, what about Kent? Is there anything about him? Did you sleep with him, too? Kent was a hack. He still is a hack. He's lucky to even know me. Look, I banged a lot of chicks. Do you want a list of them all? I'll get right on to that. As a matter of fact, ask Tyler. He probably keeps track. His nose is so far up my ass. Just grab your clothes and get dressed in the limo. Stan, you're worse than the kid. He's got talent. What do you got? Lock it down. Yeah. Des, what do you want? Uh, this was a uh, tape to the door. <sighs> Whoa, just... Revenge of the Squid Gal? Oh, my God, is that human hair? Uh, looks like it. Shut up. Oh. Can't you get in a parking meter cop or something? Ha, ha, ha. Here, look. Take a look at this. Is that hair? Yeah, I, I think so. My uh, client, he's been getting some weird threats lately. Jake, fine, whatever. I really don't care. Goodbye. What? Okay, look, I know you're going out with the mayor and you're not with me and we gotta be Thank friends you, or whatever. You don't have to be mean about it. Thank look, I got enough childish men this in my life, so would you knock it off? I don't need it from you. Leslie, I was joking, by. What's wrong with you? Sorry. Are you all right? What was that? I don't know. Rhonda Stride is now Rhonda Peck. Still tracking down an address. Rhonda Peck. Let's, Let's get, get right to the real attraction. Ladies and gentlemen, G.G. Murphy. Thank you. Look who showed up. Our super fan. Thank you. What? Oh. What's he doing? Come on. Thank you. I was kind of hoping for the keys to the city. I want to have an opportunity to enter all your homes and see you naked. Just to thank them personally. Is that possible? But now I get a plaque instead. Uh, seriously, this is a wonderful uh, honor. This, sorry, does this have a name? It's the uh, Citizen Action Award. Idiot, nothing happened. Except that. Could have been worse. Could have had to listen to the rest of your act. Oh, yeah! The ice cream truck was reported stolen an hour ago. We'll check it for prints. Thank you. Uh, Bill, Mayor Clark, this is, uh, this is Jake Doyle. 
I owe you. You saved my life. Yeah, well, you can blow up Atlantic Place. We'll call it even. <laughs> Steering wheel was tied off. Knife was uh, stuck in the gas pedal. We found this. Exit stage left. Does that mean anything to you? No, but it's good advice. Guy's hilarious. Take it easy with all the condos. Don't screw up the city. We have a reporter who hates him, club owner who hates him. Crazy super fan who loves him, an old troop member we can't find. Of course, there's JJ who both loves and hates himself. The monkey was the killer. What was that, Desdemona? Super fan fiction. They're stories or works written by fans themselves based on their favorite show or character. But the beauty with fan fiction is that sometimes they engage in self-insertion, where the writer actually puts himself or herself in the script. So did uh, Tyler self-insert himself? No, he didn't. 49 characters and no Tyler character, so I guess he's not a super fan. No, but Ryan is. Yeah, he loves him so much. Why did he scratch all his eyes out? Do we have an address for Ryan Brenton? I can get it. Hi there. Well, believe it or not, that is not the strangest ceremony I've ever presided over. Right. Thank God you're okay. Oh, well, thank God that tall guy was there. <laughs> it's nice to get a quiet second with you anyway. Hmm. You know, I'm not sure how much more of this secrecy thing I can deal with. It's starting to get on my nerves, to be honest. Yeah. You know, it's because I'm, I'm ashamed of you, right? Truly, no, I'm just saying you're, you're horrible to look at. And, and, uh... <laughs> I'm serious, sort of. Let's just take our time, okay? I mean, you'll see how you feel in a little while. You're going to find out sooner or later that I am... Total dink, way too old for you and all the rest. So, before we announce you on the ballot, maybe we should wait to see if you dump me first. Hello, crazy super fan. Anyone home? Is this literally a list of uh, JJ's worst fears? This is pretty weird. Uh, yeah. Look at this. Every one of these drawers is labeled. This is creepy, man. Look at this. Whoa, jackpot. Squid dude memorabilia. <laughs> yeah, I know. I had the blue one. I'm not the stalker. Leah the blogger was paying me for dirt. I was looking for the tape. So what were you doing at Ryan's? <sighs> Weird kid. Collects everything JJ. I sold it to him a while back, along with all the other cat fud stuff. No one else on the planet has this tape. Why are the buttons on this thing so small? Just give it to me, Leah. I can't even believe you still have a VCR. But these prisoners are just enjoying the sunny day. Well, then we better lock it down. Is that Rhonda as squid gal? Yeah. Rhonda was the real brains of the troop. She and JJ, they were a big couple. Then he dumped her. And Stole her material. Every word. Wonder how the network would react if they found out their new show was based on stolen material. What's the name of this bit? Um, yeah, that's Revenge. Revenge of the Squid Gal. Yeah. So, I'm guessing that uh, all of these, they're the names of other sketches? There's only three people in the world who would know that. 
Meet J.J. and Rhonda. And Ryan, our super fan, he'd make four. Can you remember the names of any other ones? No, we always closed with Take the Plunge. It's all right, Suzanne. Yeah. Yeah, it's me. Want a drink? Sure, just uh, stay where you are. It's JJ. I'm guessing it's either Ryan or Rhonda. It has to be one of them. Where are you? I'm coming to you now. Hey there. You know Marlon Brando? Hmm? He and his stalker. She and her husband had a plan to kill Brando and to eat him. I actually already knew that. But she loved Brando so much, she confessed everything to him. Oh, yeah? Hmm? What did Brando do? He banged her. I wouldn't necessarily recommend that course of action for you in this uh, particular situation. We had a gig up here once. Our last gig, Cat Fud, take the plunge. At the end of the show, we pretended to jump off. Stupid gag. Never worked. You want to know a secret? I'm not funny. I never was. <laughs> I'm a fraud. I know. Rhonda Stride, you stole her material and then you got rich. That kind of thing, it, it tends to leave a mark. <laughs> I ripped off her entire act 20 years ago. She made me famous. You're gonna turn me in? Expose me? You hired me to find your stalker, not find out where you get your crappy material. Ron is the one who's been making the threats. Looks like it. She wrote me, called. I never opened one letter, sent them all back. I was afraid she'd go public with this tape. Expose me for what I am. We should go to the cops now before this goes any further. You find her. I want to face her about this. I owe her that. Finally. Finally. What? What do you mean? Yeah? Are you serious? Uh... Okay, I'll... Okay, fine. They just ordered the show. I've been picked up. It's greenlit. Congratulations. You just bring me Rhonda, okay? I need to face her. Make this right. Tintin. Sorry. Tinny. Where are you going? You need a ride? I can walk, thanks. You know, fear is a real hindrance in life. Deep stuff. Good on you. Okay, please let me take you home. Did you drink? Not a drop. All right. time finding Rhonda's address. But JJ, I don't know, it might be just me, but I almost feel like there's a change in him. He growing on you? Well, no. I wouldn't say that exactly. Maybe it's just the, you know, ow. the idea that Rhonda could be his stalker, him knowing that, giving him ease. Rhonda, we're not here to cause any trouble. JJ Murphy would like to talk to you. We got bills. Bills. A couple of insurance checks. Here. Mailman! Hello? Rhonda? Doesn't look like anyone's been here for a while. Is this splat try to me. What the hell's this? Cancer drugs. Saw enough of those before, with your mother, before she died. 
Looky here. Ryan's not the only one with a JJ obsession. Well, at least Ryan's very neat about his. Wow. These were all addressed to JJ in New York. Return to sender. Yeah. Return to sender. Return to sender on all of them. JJ's hairbrush that was stolen. Really? This one's addressed to an Alfonso Peck. It's a paternity test between JJ Murphy and Rhonda. Dad, I think this kid Alfonso is JJ's son. Jake? Well, there's Rhonda. That's one mystery solved. trouble here. What do you think happened? I killed her, I froze her, found her, then I called you. Look, I'm aware I come up with a lot of excuses to see you. You just stumbled upon Rhonda Stride's body. There's no external wounds. I think she had terminal cancer. You examined her? Yeah. Well, you know, just a, a quick scan, nothing extensive. You know, moved a few TV dinners around. I found some checks in the mailbox. I've seen it before. Beneficiary hides the body to keep collecting the pension checks. The son, yeah. We've been trying to track him down, whoever it is. We're free to go. There's a body. In the freezer. Yep. Don't go far, Jake. Sorry. So, let's track down Alfonso. You think what I'm thinking? Super fan with super crazy. Thank you. I love you too. You in particular. How do you spell that? I'll just bluff it. Uh, I'd be happy to sign any body parts. Anyone? Yes, here we go. There we go. That'll be thirty-two fifty. Don't worry, I'll pay you, sweetheart. Uh, you have to put it on first before I sign it. Stand. Tyler. Tyler. Got him, D.I. Nice work. I got him. I got him. I just wanted to get him to sign it. Okay, folks. I love you, JJ. Oh, that's what they all say. Get me out of here. Tell him get him out of here. Bring the car. Okay. I just wanted to meet the funniest man in the world. Where's JJ? I caught him. I got the... Oh, I'm not the stalker. I love JJ. I'm the president of JJ's online fan club. I have credentials. Whoa, whoa, whoa. James. What? Oh, yeah, I got it. Is your name Alfonso? What? My name's Ryan. Ryan Brenton. If you don't believe me, ask my dad. He's a Supreme Court judge. If you love JJ so much, how come you scratch the eyes out in those albums? I didn't. They were like that when I bought them from Kent. I paid 30 bucks for them, but they're priceless. Stan. How old is Tyler? About 26. Does you say that in fan fiction, the writer, he writes himself into a script, right? Yeah, yeah, why? So in Tyler's script... Was, was there a character named Alfonso? Yeah, he, he's the lead. How do you know? I think I know where they are. Drink up. You deserve it. This place. It's weird you brought me up here. Cat Fudd did their last show here, huh? Yeah. How did you know that? You did a rooftop show. You pretended you were the Beatles. <laughs> you had a sold-out crowd. But the audience was, uh... Up here on the roof with us. How did you know that? It was just before you and Ken and Rhonda broke off. You took off to New York and you stole Squid Gal. Tyler, did I tell you this? I had fun being around you, watching you work dumpy clubs, watching you suffer. A hack. You're a terrible person. A terrible, terrible person. Dad. She died. Mom. Yeah. She's dead. She's wait, dead. Wait, wait, uh... My mother, Rhonda, is dead. Did you hear that, Dad? Why do you keep calling me Dad? <laughs> you know, I took this job to get to know you. To find out why. To hurt you. Somehow. It's true, JJ. He's your son. Okay. Let's just stay calm. Are you okay, Tyler? Take it easy. Just get back. I'll push him over and I'll go with him. I don't care anymore. Just stay back. Okay. We found your mother, Tyler. This morning. I didn't do anything wrong. 
She told me to do it to keep getting the insurance checks. She wanted me to go to university. What the hell are Just you talking stay. about? You're running as your son, JJ. What do you know? Oh, well, I don't suppose anyone has a cigar. Not a joke, huh, Dad? Okay. Let's just stay cool here, yeah? Just stay oh, back! Kid wants to kill me, Lana. You want to kill me, kid? Go ahead. I loved your mother. I always did. And yes, I am a hack and a thief. Let him kill me, guys. It's okay. I am a hack. Yeah, yeah, yeah let him kill me. You're not helping, JJ. Just... <laughs> I have a son. He wants to kill me, but uh, even so, it's better than the relationship I had with my father. Why'd you do it? Why'd you ruin her life? I'm sorry, kid. I am... Um, I'm really sorry. You, um, hope you don't mind, I brought a friend, Allison, this is Nikki. Nikki, this is Allison. Oh. Hi. Hello. Hey, Jake, buddy, glad you could make it. We, oh, we wanted to introduce no. you to uh... No, honey. Hi. Hello. Well, I'm starved. So, uh, Allison, um, you're a, you're a lawyer, right? You know, I think I left my berry in the car. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go get it. I'm sorry, I'll just be a minute. I'll be, I'll just be right back. Just. Take me to a dinner where your ex-wife is trying to set you up with another woman. Sorry about that. Oh, the hell of a first date. I'm a classy guy, what can I say? Well, you're an original, that's for sure. You think this is going where you think it's going? I have no idea. Take the shot. 